Hi, I'm Rachel from Caring Central and this is the Baby Jogger City Select 2. So in this video, I'm going to go through all of the features, functions and details of the City Select 2 top to bottom, including how to fold it. But if you wanted to know the differences between the City Select 2 and the previous two models, the Select and Select Lux, I will pop a link in the description to a video comparison that I have done for all three of those models, as well as a separate video where I'm going to review the Select 2 as a double and I'll go through all of your double configuration options. Options. But for this video, I'm going to focus in on the details of the pram itself. So let's get started. Please hit that subscribe button so you can help us get to 10,000 subscribers so we can keep making videos to help you choose the best products for your family. So as I mentioned, the City Select 2 does convert from single to double, which is such a popular style of pram. At the moment, I feel like so many parents are looking for that future-proofed pram so they can get it as a single now, but they have the option of adding a second seat later on if they need to. So the Select 2 has the option of a forward-facing and also a parent-facing seat. And amazingly, this seat has been approved for newborns. So all you need to do is recline the seat and you are good to go from birth through to 20.5 kilos. Although you do have the option of a bassinet or you can use a capsule. Although personally, I don't love the bassinet option for the Select 2, particularly in double mode. And if you check out my other video going through the configurations, you'll see why. Although the bassinet is perfectly lovely in single mode, but you have the option of just using the seat. Okay, I'll go through all the rest of the features with the seat, starting with that one-handed recline. I personally think a one-handed recline should be a minimum for a pram. I don't like a two-handed recline, so I love that feature. It also has a mesh closure peekaboo window on the top here, but it doesn't have any option to extend. So what you see with the canopy is what you get. It's a good size canopy, but it would have been nice if there was some kind of pop-out extension with it. Okay, so moving on to the seat itself. It is a good size seat and I will pop all of the dimensions for the seat as well as the pram in the description for you to check those out. So the canopy can also adjust upwards as your child grows and this head barrier is removable. So there is quite a lot of height to grow into with the City Select 2. So another feature, it does also have the adjustable footrest and it has multiple positions up and down. So you can find the right spot to be comfortable for your little one. So moving on to the frame itself, you have a one-handed telescopic handlebar. So it's going to accommodate parents of a range of heights. It also has a foot brake, and I personally do prefer a foot brake, although it's not a step to engage, it's step to release. There's no option to step through. So you will need to flip up on it, although it's not too hard to do even with open toed shoes. Also, while we're at the back of the pram, have a look at those big rear wheels. It also has front wheel suspension, so this will really handle all types of suburban terrain, grass, mulch, tracks, gravel, all of that, as well as pretty much anywhere that you're going to want to go with a child. Although it doesn't have all wheel suspension, it will still handle really nicely across all of those rough terrains. I also love the basket on the Select 2. It is a very large basket with a 7 kilo weight limit and easily accessed from all sides. So you can get things in and out from the front, from the side and of course from the back. So from the back you can easily access it again from that elasticized sides but you can also zip it open to expand the size of it and also to make it easier to get larger items in and out like a large nappy bag. There is also a pocket on the back of the seat here and two little pockets inside the basket. So it's going to be easy to sort and organize your things with the City Select 2. So there are two different ways that you can fold the Select 2, either with or without the seat attached. I think that most people are going to be folding it with the seat taken off. So I'm going to show you that first, but I will show you what it looks like with the seat on as well. And now to fold the pram, you're going to want to stand in front of the pram, making sure that your brakes have already been applied as you would with any pram. I'm going to place my thumbs onto the frame here and just to engage that mechanism. So I'm just going to show you again, press down and lift up on that. That releases the fold mechanism. And then all I'm going to do is lift up and it folds down super, super easy. To open it up, you're just going to find your automatic latch there. Just release the latch, lift up on the handlebar and then pop your seat on and away you go. So to fold it with the seat attached, again applying your brace, pop the canopy back, 
Standing in front of the crown just like before, place your thumbs on the frame, pull up and let it fold down. So it is possible to lift it all in one go, but it is pretty awkward and bulky. You might find a little bit more compact though if you take the seat off. So that's what it looks like with the seat attached. If I take the seat off, I can make it fit a little bit better into the car. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the City Select 2 or any other prams you would like to see me review, please let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe for more parenting product reviews. Have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.